Hello, everybody. This is Northern Beard. And I am that mightiest beard. And together, our powers combine, and we become the Mighty Beards of Gaming, bringing you another episode of Beardlefield. That's right. Beardlefield is that glorious weekly series where Northern Beard and myself sit down with a beer, do a proper review of that beverage, and try to play some Battlefield 3. Yeah, and uh, we're going to go ahead and dump you over to in-game comms now. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Enjoy the episode. What's up, Steven? Hello, William. Uh, how are you doing this evening? Good. Just breaking some glass over here in the uh, building, waiting for oh, some okay. assault base. Oh, well, they're getting their shit pushed in pretty hard right here. Yeah, they're going to get much of an assault. This, this might not be terribly entertaining for you folks. We'll have yeah, to make right. it up with our colorful commentary. Correct. Oh, there's, a, there's a jeep. Right there, I feel like... A jeep? What are you shitting How at? How the fuck did I survive that? Or yeah! Alright, cool. We prepared to drink some beers tonight? We are. Oh my god. Sweet. Well, tonight we're gonna drink the. Uh, yeah, what, what are we drinking? Sorry, what are we drinking? Yeah, we're drinking the uh, Southern Tier Creme Brulee. One of the uh, most. Popular dessert beers, very, very well, uh, well received, renowned dessert beers out of uh, Southern Tier, out of Lakewood, New York. Nice, New York. All right. Yeah, another New York brewery, just nice. like Am Gang and uh, Brooklyn and and several, several others. Nice. And I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, equipped to tell you about currently. Any, uh, any history on this, this, this uh -huh. beverage? Um, no. It's, you know, they, they brewed a beer that's basically tastes like creme brulee. I was trying to read up on it, and all they were telling me about was, like, how France and Spain and Italy all think that they are the cool ones that invented the dessert creme brulee. Yeah. Um, but that's, re that's really it. That's pretty uninteresting. It's, just, uh, it's not super interesting. It's brewed with uh, caramel malt and vanilla beans, and Ooh. this is actually a milk stout. Um, a milk stout. Uh, milk stout that I comes in at nine point six percent. That is our first milk stout. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what, what there percentage are a few. Percent? There's. Th uh, say that again. What percentage did you say? Nine point six. Ooh, that is in our uh, not fucking around stage. That's correct. It does not. Uh, it does not. It does not really do any of that. It does not fuck around. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be dessert beer. Drink it with ice cream or just drink it alone for dessert. It's not. Uh, it's not something that you want to have with uh, like a steak dinner, uh, if you know what I mean. It's not. It's not that kind of complimentary beer. Yeah, that sounds awful. Actually, a creme creme brulee with a steak. Yeah, after a steak that's sounds delicious. delicious. That's correct. Um, if you are doing some battling, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dive on into this and yeah, go crack it. it open. I just shot a nerd. It's I think my third kill. Well, it, actually, it said 9.6 on the website, but it says 9.5 on the bottle. Percent. 9.55. Yeah, that must be it. All right, big pour on this. It almost looks a little bit more like a porter than a stout, despite it being about. Jesus Christ! I can smell it already. It smells ridiculous. Yeah. Um, getting, getting. I got up like a half a finger ahead. Holy shit! I can't get over it. <laughs> Uh, man, wait till you crack it. Um, All right, l let me uh, let me do that. Actually, I'm excited. You you're amping this thing up. Yeah, go for it. There's just like you're you may or may not like the smell of it, but holy shit, there is a lot of it. Oh my good god gracious! Look, yeah, we got like right nose raped there. Yeah, that's gotta be the most nose centric beer. I've probably yeah, that's ever very poured. pungent. Yeah, pungent. Good, nice Scrabble word. I like that. Yeah, um, really dark pour. It looks yeah. a bit more like a porter. It's really, yeah. uh, it's really carbonated. I mean, not really carbonated, but I can definitely see some that's some bubbles going up from the bottom. The head it has all but disappeared. Uh, it's got like a thin layer on the top. Anything else on your end? No, Next that's Steve? that's pretty accurate. I mean, this thing is black as night. Uh, it's yeah. like motor oil. It doesn't really quite pour like motor oil, but it definitely looks it. Yeah, once um, it piles up there, you're getting like khaki-ish on the edges, but it's really... The uh, head is kind of off-white, but but completely gone now. Um, I have to smell this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. 
Dude. <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, the vanilla is really strong on the Oh core. my god, dude. It's vanilla, it's burnt sugar. Um, oh my god, these guys are so mad. Uh, like, burnt sugar. Um, sweet, huge butterscotch. Oh my god, dude. It smells... If it wasn't a like a beer, it would smell so, like if I got this after uh, a meal, I would I would shit. This is just such a good smelling beer. It's the most exciting like smell review we've ever had on this show. Oh my god, totally. Um, Alright, so uh, are you getting anything that I'm not getting on the nose there? Let me, let me uh, put a big honker beer. on this one. Yeah. You can sit basically a foot and a half oh. away from it and still smell Holy it. Holy so. shit, dude. No wonder why you had yeah, like it's... an orgasm. Dude, it's huge. It Dude, butter, butterscotch city, lots of caramel and vanilla. I mean, butterscotch and vanilla are the two prominent ones, but good god, man. Good god, yes. that's, that's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. This insane smell. This doesn't smell like booze. No. This smells like, it smells like, like butterscotch extract that you, like, bake with. Yeah. It's got such a good smell to it. I can really see why this would be a dessert beer. It doesn't smell like it would be... I got MCOM armed. Yeah. It doesn't smell like it would be pleasant to drink um, like with really any kind of dinner, but... No. Uh, with Just really with anything. You, you're going to want this to be something that follows up a, a nice dinner. Oh, fuck you, dude. They're disarming A. No, they're not. Are you kidding me? No, I got him. Oh my god, MCOM destroyed in a res. Yeah, I'm the shit. I have to sip this. I gotta sip it. Yeah, I yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, I'll keep entertained. Go, go, go. If I entertain, I'm just gonna run a 5k. Oh, man. That's nuts. Um, huge um, butterscotch coming through. Oh, yeah. It, ha it has a bit of a bite to it. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. The booze, you mean? Um, the booze... Um, is there you feel it more like in your mouth it like warms your mouth it almost has like a bite in your mouth and in your throat i'm i'm excited it, Keep it cancels a sip. it cancels a bit of the sweetness out i think so it doesn't taste as sweet as it smells which is actually kind of nice because it smells like it would be really cloying like just like way too sweet but i, I think see what you're talking booze, about with that with that um the boozy yeah, the, the I think the booze kind of distracts a bit from the like massive sweetness. Yeah, I mean, it's still very very sweet. I mean, it's it's prominent. It's it's just it's the prominently just just the uh, what vanilla right? Vanilla bean is all I'm really getting on the taste. I mean, that, the strongest character when I say all I'm getting. Yeah, Vin I'm gonna take another sip real quick. Yeah, it's strong vanilla bean on the on the flavor. Um, but also, uh, the butterscotch comes through. Yeah. You, it actually, like, when you sip, you get a lot of the smell at the same time. Like, if you breathe in, like, just if you're breathing normally like a human, like, you get a lot of the, of the, of the scent at the same time. So, like, while I'm not, like, tasting, like, huge butterscotch, like I was getting on the nose, I'm smelling it, so it's still really feeling like a big butterscotchy kind of beer. Yeah. Which is wow. awesome Get in my stomped, opinion. stomped, kids. These kids are getting face rolled pretty hard. I don't even know where they are. I think I got fucked. Oh shit, that's empty. These kids can't shoot worth a shit. Oh man, what do you uh, you get anything uh, more fun on the flavor? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in for another big swig here, just to try to yeah. see if I can back you up, keep them entertained. I'm getting almost uh, uh, a little oh, shit. I'm in a bad position here. I'm almost getting like a brown sugar, uh, brown sugary sweetness, like uh, yeah, just like a burnt mm. brown sugar. Yeah, I'm, mm, I'm, mm, I'm, mm. Here's the med kit, all right, dude? I'm picking up on that absolutely. But man, it's so sweet. The caramel is there. The mm. custard is there. Almost like because they make. Uh, oh, I just got shot while I was in the fucking chopper. Some idiot was like waiting for it on their team and shot me out of it. Um, it does. I'm like, I'm definitely getting some like uh, the milky kind of feel. 
Oh yeah, uh, this is a milk stout. That's right. Yeah, that you get from the milk stout. It's like uh, it just uses um, lactose sugar. So it's yeah, I gotcha. Uh, it just uses like lac lactose. It's not like they pour milk into it. Right, right. Um, fuck, I got screwed. You, are you uh, med? Yeah. Negative. Oh, you are. Uh, I'm at the big uh, garage door right where we spawned in. I'm I'm way the fuck not near you. No, oh, don't worry about it then. I'll spawn on you in two. Yeah, saw that coming. Oh man, I traded with a kid. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's very roasty. Yeah, it's a little bit roasty. Just the sweetness kind of comes through and <laughs> the I burnt think the, sweetness. Yeah, I think makes gives it like a roast characteristic. It it is pretty boozy, but it but the the, the sweetness. I mean, it does it does help. Yeah. It's like a warming kind of booziness. Yeah. Um, I don't think it tastes wicked boozy. Just like you said, like the the, the huge sweetness covers yeah. it up. Um, what do you get on the mouth feel on this one? I mean, it's it's pretty smooth. I mean, it, it, it it's it's. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, it, I'm gonna go with Dude, full. It's, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty full flavor. Holy shit! It's Definitely full flavored beer, full mouthfeel on the on that. I'm de it's coating my mouth like the sweetness is definitely hanging out. Yeah. Oh fuck me. This I feel like um, I feel like a bomber for this, which is how it comes, is Aggressive. way more than enough. Yeah. Like I feel like a six ounce pour of this after a meal is like a good dessert. Mm hmm I would agree. Yeah. Um, it's enjoyable, but it's like a, a, a lot. Yeah, it's... Oh, shit. I would say that, that this runs the risk of being too much of a good thing. Um, yeah. With a bomber. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be aggressive with this tank here and move up. Go for it. I can't do anything to help you, so I'm going to not try. I'm going to push up the right... Uh, Right tunnel. Pushing All right. Up. Um, you got anything else to say about the flavor of this beer, or uh, mouthfeel about this beer? I mean, I I feel like it's it's nothing we haven't already said. Yep. Um, I mean, it's a it's a sweet sweet dessert beer. Um, hang on one second. A little preoccupied with the tank. Yeah. Come on, B. I'm abandoning ship here, moving in. All right, then. Uh, if we're uh, working on the end of this, then what's uh, what would you say your overall is on this? I mean, I gotta say, man, I was really nervous going into this beer. A, haven't had creme brulee. I know it's weird. And B, um, and uh, B, dessert beer, expecting super sweet notes, not really mm -hmm. wanting super sweet, like. Yeah, I, mean, I don't not, always want super sweet in my. I'm beer not a sugar and... guy. Like I don't eat candy. Like I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't do any of that. Uh, my overall, though, I mean, this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Combat efficiency medal. That's a correct on that. Um, yes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I really feel like this would do a solid during the um, the, the the colder months of the year. Like I really feel like I'm getting a lot of winter notes on this. And yeah. And I, I feel like it would do a, it'd be a really great Christmas dessert beer. Mm -hmm. While we are just thrashing these kids. <laughs> yeah, these kids are getting. I'm A's thirteen holes. and zero. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. Um, so that's that's what I feel is is that this would be a really good Christmas sort of holiday December type beer. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just a phenomenal beer. So we're, we're talking overall right now, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I gotta give this a solid 4.5. I mean, this is just a really, really mighty, mighty beer, and uh, this is gonna get a uh, a 4.5 for me. Maybe, maybe even a 4.75. I mean, it's just a stellar, stellar beer. Nice. How about you? Um, I feel similarly. Um. I, however, am going to dock it for its 
like delivery system. Uh, I I feel like uh, like like just a bomber is too much. Like I don't like to have to. I don't like to open a beer and have to put some of it back because I don't want to drink it all at one time. You know what I mean? Um, I like you know Stone sells their arrogant bastard in in uh, in bombers, um, but that's something that you can like. Just as an example, they sell. There's a lot of beers that get sold in bombers, obviously, um, but they're mostly beers that you can open up and drink a lot of, um, and not really have an issue. I feel like after this glass of this, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm set on this for a little a while. Glass, yeah. Wow, that's um, a destruction right there. So you're gonna give it a solid what? I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'm gonna give it just a four. A four, okay. It's a really tasty, delicious beer that I want small amounts of yeah um, so like i feel like after this glass like thankfully i uh my girlfriend bought me these little rubber uh bottle caps that fit right on top of bottles yeah um so i can close this up and put it back in the fridge and drink some more on another day which is going to be perfect Keep it fresh yeah yep um but yeah four four for me i might even um i just taking another sip here i might have been a little um wired for my 14 and 0 run there on friggin' dam of van peak um, I might. I'm just gonna back it up a little bit and go with a with a with a four and a quarter, four point two five. Okay. Go ahead and update that ding. Um, yep. Because taking another big swig of this, that I will fault it on the booze. I mean, I might even go down to a four. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll make your job harder. Four. Ding. Um, All right. <laughs> enjoy that edit. Uh, sure. Because the, the booze. I mean, nine point five. It's not messing around. Sorry, not fucking around. And yep. you really feel it. I mean, you that. That is, it's a pun. Yeah, it's there. It's, it's, it's there. there. Um, but I mean, I think I'm just so jazzed because of how pleasantly surprised I am by this beer. I really, yeah. I really expected to be like noob, all set with yeah. that. But and uh, I mean, just because you knocked it down to a four doesn't mean that a four isn't still a great beer. Oh god, dude, I mean, four is a stellar. It is. Beer. It's just like, uh, it's just like, like you said, like too much of a good thing at one time mm -hmm. is is um, just really tough to take, you know. Yeah. Um. But on that note, guys, uh, that's a four from both of us. Uh, it's, by the time uh, Northern Beer got his shit figured out, we, he could crack it down to a four. So four from both of us lands the, the Southern tank. Southern Tier Creme Brulee at uh, a Wizard Beard from the Mighty Beards of Gaming. Uh, wow, way to jump in and jump out. Oh, you I'm going to get into the tank. Great. Double tank, am I right? Uh, um, yeah, so, yeah. well, check us out on Facebook.com, or, yeah, Facebook, you know, just check Facebook, Twitter, uh, all that jazz, links are in the description, um, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, etc., and, uh, we appreciate your guys' support, as always, we'll, um, we'll see you in a couple days, obviously, and if you have any suggestions between now and then, and even after, uh, feel free to let us know, and, uh, we'll catch you in a couple days on another episode of Beardle Field. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's all we got. All right.